Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Twain here, and uh, guess what, I'm on my main, and the video that we're gonna show today is simply about how to build your tanks. So this one will be the second in line of many videos to come on how to build your characters properly. I'm not going into any specific tanks, but I will be going over some of the very basics to make sure that your tank doesn't die. And that's not just by just healers. So. I'm going over a few walls that people will find, one of them being the 8-26. The main tank that I'll be using today will be Philip. And how I'll be building him, for starters, you get a unique weapon, you get the P-toughness and the M-toughness to make sure, like I said before, get him to the soft cap on P-toughness and M-toughness. That is 450. I got somewhere along the line some extra P toughness and M toughness where I don't even know where it's coming from. But uh, let's just keep it rocking. Okay. Now, another thing that I want to note, all of these tanks onto the T5 life perk have either P block, HP, or M block. One has defense, but mainly check out the for the P block and the M block. That means that if you get this T perk, they're getting defense, HP, and block stats extra. That means that if you find yourself a multiple characters that you need to fight, in this case, this guy is magic. Hey, but this guy is physical. So just going a magical route is not sufficient. That's why I made beginner gear. And I kind of messed this up for a beginner, but I'll show you the right way. So what I got myself is HP, P defense, M defense, and attack speed. I got several of these banked to make sure that I survive. Little did I know that this is not the optimal route. So the thing I would recommend for a beginner now that I got everything equipped is the HP, P defense, M defense, and then get yourself the P block from the selector. That's one of the easiest ways to get it. And that is just for the tanking gear. Now there is a downside. If you're running through this game, like literally speed running like I did, what you're looking out for is straight up getting yourself to dragons and killing those dragons as fast as possible and start with T8 gear. Still, that starts with the basics. And what you'll be rocking instead of the attack speed that I have on this, you could be getting P block. The M block on the T6 selectors is not included. Funny thing would be, if I do, however, want to get that M block, I go to the enhancement, I rock some dark dragons, and guess what? You can get this M block still, no problem. So that way you can get yourself to a soft cap at the very least of both the M block and the P block. Now, I don't have a lot of block right now on this character, but we still got enough block to get up to the soft cap of P block and the soft cap of M block, which is pretty good. Now, I'm rocking just one healer, which is Refi, and let's check out what we can do right now. Knowing that I don't have the optimized P block and M block, because I would personally get them up to 700 to 800 at least. Also, check out DHP. Almost 8 million. Pretty good. Okay. So what we're gonna do with just Refi, no damage included, we're just gonna check the survivability. We're just putting this on auto and see whatever happens. And guess what? My Philip, he's not dying. He's not near close to dying. And my Refi is on no crit, no attack speed, no cooldown reductions, no extras. We don't even have a good artifact on my Philip yet. And guess what? He is surviving just about anything. Also due to his unique weapon, obviously. Because if I would put this onto another character, let's say, for instance, I would put this onto my Loma, maybe it could have been a little bit different because that is the quirk that Philip has onto having extra physical and magical defense. But once again, this is one of the ways that you can rock it. Let's check it out onto another character. Let's say we pick this gear and we transfer this over to another character of mine. Now we got ourselves in the Roxas and the Roxas is currently rocking so much P block and so much M block. This guy has a block for days, all right? The only thing that he doesn't have is resistance. Now let's just check out, even with this gear, what is this worth? So this is just maximum block spec. This is way over soft cap. 
This would be, in my case, overachieving onto no reason, right? He doesn't have the right perks set yet, but the question would be, is he able to survive just like all the other characters? In my opinion, like Philip or Naroxas are the best tanks to get. And as you can see, guys, with just this amount of physical block and magical block, I'm able to survive just about anything. So having a block stat with a nice amount of HP combined with the refi that heals on a percentage of HP will allow your whole team to survive anything. So we got multiple routes that could work. Okay, going over some of the other walls that you will face, one of them being 9-10. And we're about to see whether my Philip on the gear that we just had is able to survive. In this case, I'm picking double healer, reason for that, the chances of you surviving on this without a double heal is pretty low. Once again, we're using the basic gear that I recommended that you can get from the selectors. And guess what? My Philip is not dying. Not at all. Okay, let's move over once again to Naroxas. Now remember guys, Naroxas had the HP combined with a lot of block rate. Let's see if this works just as well as Philip's gear does. Obviously, he's a totally different character. We're not getting all of the heals out, which is a little ass. And it looks to me that he is, well, with the extra heal, he is surviving. I would say just as well, but he's lacking on the defense department like a lot. This is one of the reasons why he's dying. Let's just transfer over Philip's gear to Naroxas and see what that does to his survivability. All right, so for this gear, we got a little bit less block. We got more P defense. We got more M defense. We got more HP coming with it. So as we can see right now, having that extra P and M defense allows him to survive way, way more. So just rocking straight block is not the way to go. Oh, now he's, now he's getting hit. Now he's getting hit. Guess what? He's still surviving everything. So that is the main difference in what you're looking for. So getting that early game T6 selectors and make sure to get that HP, get that defense in. Guess what? Then you're surviving just about everything. Currently, my healers are getting rocked, by the way. None of this age MP is coming back. So I'm still dying. But guess what? We survived throughout the whole minute. You're obviously going to kill something on the other hand, which is really good. Another wall that people will face are dragons and they are very specific when it comes to gearing. So if I look at the skill info, we got one physical damage. Okay. But we got magical damage, magical damage, magical damage, and magical damage. So you cannot be sure that you're just facing just magical damage because if you would pick only magical defense, you will still get rocked by the first hit from the physical hit and you will still die. Now let's check out what the gear that we just got does for the rest of the team. So we got ourselves Philip. We're using this gear that we recommend for the early game players. This has the block, the defense and everything. And let's see if our refuse is able to heal just about everything. Now you would say just the T8 stage one dragon it's not that much of a big deal, right? He's not doing a whole lot of damage. We can heal this up. We can just auto to see whatever is happening. But as you can see, we're surviving this. He's not doing anything except auto attacking for now. But let's see a breath, for instance. We also got debuffed. We're not cleansing that. Oh, Refi was like, oh, well, but still got debuffed. And guess what? We're not dying. Also, once again, by the unique weapon of Philip. So let's try this gear on Naroxis and then try to amplify the dragon stages and see how far we can survive this part. So we already got acquainted to the dragon. We already know that we're rocking the P block, the M block, the defense on both sides. And let's see if even Naroxis can survive the T8 dragon stage one. So we got that first hit. Kind of looks like it hurts. But overall, I think it looks like we're surviving. 
Normally you would run several healers on top of this, but Naraxxus is nowhere near dying. We're still waiting for a breath. If he's doing that and if he can survive, the gear is actually really good. So here we go, a breath, and guess what? The damage is not doing a whole lot. Would he be able to survive a flying phase? We're still not quite sure. We're not really gonna look at that. But so far it seems this gear is able to beat the TA Dragons, which is a bottleneck. But let's see how far we can take this to change this up. What I'm gonna do, I'll be rocking a lot of healers, I'm not even sure if they do have gear. And the question would be, is Philip able to survive with this gear on a higher end? Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit because of the M damage. I know he doesn't have a lot of M block, but with this, there's another 400 coming up. Oh, guess what? I got a lot of M block, by the way. And let's just see if he can, for instance, tank stage five dragons. Now this time with a lot of healers, we're still rocking the same gear. Now, I think half of these characters are not even geared, so they may as well just die by the very first lightning. <laughs> that will be interesting. Okay, can he survive the first hit? Answer is yes. First hit, 9 out of 10 times, does the most damage onto this guy. We put this on auto, so every heal is coming up. And guess what? My Philip is not dying. He's just surviving everything, and you cannot even see. All right. So check it out. We got a lot of damage to our faces, but guess what? Philip is getting hit. There's so many shields coming out. He's not even getting phased by anything. Just by the gear that I suggested you could get from the start. Once again, HP, defenses on both sides, get the P block and then get the enhancements onto the M block. Let's see if some of these other characters die in the back. Guess what? No, because we got Lias up in the building. There's a lot of M defense coming out of this. And guess what? Philip is an absolute monster. We're gonna amp this up even one more. T6 Dragon. Let's see if Naroxus can survive the first hit because the first hit, nine out of 10 times is the one that destroys you. Let's check. Oh, so we get hit, but we do survive. And with the extra healing coming out, the shields that are popping, we can survive this. So this is as far as my end game goes. I, I've never beaten the T6 dragon yet. So the fact that he's able to tank this is really, really good. So guess what? The gear that I suggest is even applicable the moment you get to the very end game. It is, it can be used everywhere. So here's the thing. If you're struggling with the stages, the early game dragons, what you could do, get the T6 selectors, get the HP, P defense, M defense, get the P block on top of that. You don't even go for anything else. You enhance them with the magical block. And guess what? You are set to do whatever you want onto even late game. Now there's a funny fact that you can do. Currently I went for all Dark Dragon gear. What you could also get is get two parts of Ice Dragon gear. That way you can get yourself more HP and more of the very basics onto your whole set. So that is it for the very first gear that you get. Now let's look into specifics on when you were facing specific bosses. We have some luxury right here and that is a challenge raid onto Kallax. This is to my knowledge and uh, my experience one of the hardest ones that you're gonna face at the moment. So if you wanna see what he does, we go to boss info, we see he's a draconic. Now you can keep this in mind if you do have like a Draconic Mask, I got a 3 star. That means we can do a lot of lowering of damage. So this guy does, oh, guess what? Magical damage. That means I can get gear specifics. Okay, let's try this onto Hell Mode. So what I'm gonna do is we had the tankiest guy that we had in the building, right? I think that... Philip did one of the best tanking that he could do ever. 
Now let's use the gear that we just used. And I will say, let's just check what happens. Bronze mirror in. Okay, guess what? I got a few hits and guess what? Afterward, I just die. Let's go into some specifics. We know that magical gear has the upper hand. So let's change up. All right, so we got some different gear and Philip is mainly not the guy that is going to be doing this boss, but still we are trying to get this stuff to work. So what we basically got is a lot less HP. Like normally we had around 8 million HP, but instead we got a lot of magical defense instead. We had a lot more M block, but with the Madame Bronze Mirror, we get so much more. So the question is, with this gear, would I be able to survive? Well, with the heal, I'm actually able to survive, but I'm honestly not convinced that this is working the way I intended it to. So guess what? The early game gear that I suggested was still doing better and reason for that is mainly due to the HP part. Now we can change this up. All right. So I'm going to be changing up something and that is just purely for the HP department. And that is using this orb. This will net me another, let's say 2.7 million HP, which is pretty good. It does, however, lower my block by a lot. Let's just change this up. Let's just try this out. Hey, guess what? With the lowering of the M block, but the upping of the HP, I'm actually able to survive more than what I did earlier. So meaning that the HB value actually means a lot. I learned something new today. Nice. Okay, with this I made another change that lowers my HP by a little bit, but the end defense gets up by almost 100k, which is, to my knowledge, a lot. We upped the end block just by a little bit, but the question is, once again, versus the end defense, is this working more? Obviously, it has to do a lot with the early hits because if a block or if a normal hit gets through, there's a lot of damage coming straight to my face. See, there we go. We got one of those big hits to my face and that nearly kills me instantaneously. So, so far, what we see is that HP is overall one of the best stats when it comes to just surviving this part. And now we got the big hits. This is where my Philip dies. Yep. So for this, you need a better healer. But we saw that versus the HP that came stranded up, I would suggest get at least 800 to 900 block rate, depending on if the tank has a T perk which amplifies another 200 blocks. So I would mainly go for a thousand to 1100 block rate. Reason for that, it will round up to 75% block chance or a little bit more than that. Now, also, we haven't covered and block defense. Take that if you go for real specific. If you get 200 and block defense, you get another 20% extra addition to the 50% block reduction that you do. So in my perspective, you get a stronger block. Yes, that's really good. Now I have not gone over anything dodge and I'm not liking dodge for many reasons because you cannot see if any of these bosses have a accuracy. The moment that they do, dodge is useless because the soft cap is up at 500 and the lines that you get are not that high when it comes to dodge. So instead of the block that you get for specifics, which is 20, uh, 240, you get 120 in terms of dodge. If you want to get to the soft cap, you need about four lines to nearly get there. So I'm not liking dodge 
I would rather go for HP, defense, and block rate. You're not going to use any P crit resistance whatsoever. So that is my take on what you should get for PVE. Now let's go over to some PVP because this is really, really specific. All right, so for the last part, PVP gear, let's go over to some of the things that I use and I can already tell there is a lot of room for upgrading to my tanks. Now I'll be showing you guys. All right, for the PVP department, I actually take part of that very beginning gear that we got and implement that into my usual characters because the base values of defense and M defense can be pretty good. There are not a lot of people that have ignored defense and there are not a lot of people that rock a lot of penetration unless you go up to the higher value of the PVP standards. Now, what I'm basically rocking, once again, this one, that one that we've already talked about, and I get myself up to 700 to 800 of block rate. I also get 450p toughness from putting 1p tough and an M tough right there. So after that, what do I get? Get at least some HP, guys. Get a lot of HP if you do have that possible. I do have some M dodge and P dodge in here. What I should be getting is P crit resistance and M crit resistance. Once again, like addressed, the value of the lines becomes way less the moment people have built-in accuracy. Now, I know Chase has built-in accuracy. There are a lot of people that have that built-in accuracy. Now, if you do have that, you can somewhat counteract whatever people are using. If you do take that into account, then block and crit resistance are two values that cannot be countered. Nobody, and I nobody will build higher than a thousand crit rate that means that if you get the crit resistance onto a thousand nobody will be critting that means that crit crit damage don't get put into the whole equation that is a very good stat so if you would give up the p dodge and m dodge in my case get the p crit resistance and the m crit resistance on the other hand then I think my gear would even be better. And let's just see if somebody, and I know somebody that has gear like that. And there's a reason for it. So coming up with one of the last tips whenever it comes to PVP gear, if you don't know what you're doing, absolutely no clue, but you have some of these characters where you think like, yeah, I wanna be using them. Guess what? You can go up to League of Victory and check these guys. You can just check all of them. Now, I know Akam is running a Demia and is running a Demia in a way where I would like to have my Loman be. Look at that. The P block, higher rate, almost up to the 900 value. We know that the Transcendence will give him that 200 P block extra. So having that P block a little bit lower than the M block is no problem because we're getting an amplification of that. And we have a lot of P crit and M crit resistance. He's not running this crit resistance perk, which could innately be really, really good. Now, why would I suggest something like this? Guess what? This unique weapon, for instance, is procking on block. That means that if I dodge, the quirks on this thing are not working. So, honestly, I am not liking any of the dodge builds unless you build Kazel, unless you build a dodge Visca, unless you build some of these diving characters that need to be surviving and not getting hit at all. Because guess what? If you block like two times your HP, guess what? You're still on 100% of your HP damage, you die. But if you do dodge, however, guess what? It doesn't matter what you get hit by. So yeah, there, there are multiple ways to go by that. And also there are some guys that are very, and I mean very specific. One of them is Ricardo. And what Ricardo needs is a lot of attack speed because he needs to be fast to pop his S3 or S2. And what you also need is some CC resistance because if you do get resisted, guess what? Ricardo's not all that useful. So 
just going by the gear that I just showed you is a not a guarantee that you will be doing good in PvP or at least your tank doesn't die. But yeah. If you're not sure what you're doing, put something up in the description, ask questions, go to my stream, I'll be able to answer stuff or do what I do. If I don't know what I'm doing, I just check all the other people that do stuff. That concludes the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, put them once again into the comments. But for now, this was Toby. Peace.